We are not targeting Ken Island. Unfortunately, they are closest to the bridge. I mean, they are affected by the Route 8 ramp, and we understand that. You know, this is not us saying, look, you know, let's, let's go down there and, and uh, cause all this havoc just for the southern uh, Ken Island residents. That's not the case at all. We are looking towards Graysonville. We are looking towards Chester. We are trying to come up with a plan that allows the traffic to stay on Route 50, stay off our, our side of roads and our access roads, so all of our citizens can move about and, and take care of their, what they need to take care of in their daily lives. Right, so the ultimate plan is to have ramp management from Ken Island all the way to the outlets so that the roads are open for the locals to move around and a disincentive for anybody who's not doing local business to be able to use those side roads. That's gonna help our local businesses. We hear from the local businesses about how difficult it is for them when beach traffic fills over onto Route 18 all the way from, from the Bay Bridge up to Queenstown and they have no customers coming in. So part of this is to help the local businesses and allow people to get from where I am on Route 8 to Safeway and back in, you know, 15 minutes versus an hour and a half or to be able to get to church or, you know, to be able to go, to, you know, if you want to go to bring your kid to Sweet Frog or you want to go to the Narrows and you want to have something to eat for dinner, be able to do that and not sit in an hour and a half of traffic. This will help local businesses. It's going to be bumpy getting there. To watch the entire video series, please head to the QAC TV YouTube page. And while you're there, give us a like, a share, and subscribe so you can hear about all the wonderful things going on in this county. Thanks for watching.